Hello and welcome. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make custom signs in King of Retail. But first, I wanna give a huge shout out to everybody who's been supporting the playthrough that I've got going on on YouTube right now. The likes, the subs, all the support that's coming my way. I really, really appreciate you guys. I am but a humble streamer and I appreciate you. Also, I just wanted to note, I read that this game is entirely made by one developer which blows my mind. He's done some great things here. I'm a fan of this game. I've got about 60 hours in so far. It's amazing. So big shout out to him. Kudos to the dev. Keep up the good work. I'm excited to see where this game goes in the future. Now, what you're here for, creating custom signs. So to me, customization is everything in a sim game. If I can customize anything I'm building, it's rewarding to me to see my creation, right? It just makes it that much more enjoyable to me to see my store in action it's my creation it's my baby i want to see it thrive so the first thing you need to consider when making a sign what kind of sign do you want to make you have options you have a floor sign you have a wall sign you have a ceiling sign pretty self-explanatory floor signs go on the floor wall signs hang on the wall ceiling signs hang down from the ceiling you also have these different shapes here. You can select a portrait mode, landscape, portrait, landscape of a slimmer design. You also have small, medium, and large sizes that these come in. And the other thing to consider is what kind of sign are you making? Is it a sale sign? Is it a welcome to the shop sign? Is it yes, we're open, no, we're closed? You have options here. You got to think about it before you even go into this editor. Otherwise, you're going to stare at the screen for a while until you think of an idea. So if you come up here to the editor tab, that's where you can customize any kind of sign you want. You don't necessarily have to buy a sign right away. You can just jump right into the editor. So let's go ahead and take a look at this UI. If you're anything like me, when I first opened this UI, I was confused. I was overwhelmed. I wanted to exit immediately. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of buttons. Some of them are useful. Some of them aren't as useful. It all depends on what you're going to use this for. But if you're familiar with any kind of editing software like Photoshop, this particular UI might be a little more familiar to you than it would to anybody else who's not familiar with that. So you have a canvas, which is basically your stage for where all of your shapes, your text, your images are going to go. This is the look of your poster. You have the layer section, which is all of the elements that are going to appear on your canvas. So your text is a, it's an individual layer. Your shapes are an individual layer, so on and so forth. Uh, transform is just adjusting the size and shape of the layers on the canvas, but we'll get to these in a little better detail later on. First of all, let's start with the left side menu here. You have clear poster, which is basically clearing the canvas. So anything you create on the canvas, you can hit this button, it'll get wiped away. This is kind of a, a, a do-over button, basically. Load poster is where you load existing posters. So for example, these are, these are posters I've created in Photoshop. Uh, so if I wanted to load one, I can go ahead and click one and it'll load the sign. Save poster to existing copy is basically saving the file without creating another version of it. Now save poster as a new copy. So this is gonna save this poster as a new file, essentially. Uh, delete an existing poster is basically the same concept. You can delete an existing poster that you have saved. So now that we've gone through that, let's take a look at this main middle section here. The format is where you change the size of the canvas. Again, you have the four different types here. You got portrait mode, landscape, portrait, landscape for the different sign sizes. Select background from imported images. You can upload an image that you created outside of this game to serve as a background. So you can see here, I, I uploaded an image that I created in Photoshop. And I can take this and edit this multiple ways and use this image as a background for multiple signs. It's very helpful if you want to create a lot of different signs with the same basic design. Remove selected background, removes it. Import a new image is where you will import images that you saved or you created outside of the game to import them into the game. So if you created a sign in Photoshop, you can upload it through that button. This little help button here is useful if you want to create signs outside of the game this tells you how many pixels you'll need to create this sign 
and it also changes based on the formats here so you can see this changes to 354 by a thousand pixels really helpful if you're going to create posters outside of this ui so if you come down to the type of sign you have different categories signs fit into you have none you got price quality fashion article and sale before you even create a sign you want to think about what it is you're creating are you going to make a sign that says these are high quality items you're going to make a high fashion sign or something for a particular article that you have in your store like you have a bunch of different options here but it's important to think about before you even start designing a sign so for our purposes we want to create an article sign and now i think we're ready to add layers to our canvas here so to actually get a shape onto your canvas you need to come over here to the layers panel there's a button here that says add a new shape to the canvas bam as you can see it added a square you can go ahead and change the shape of that item that you just added to a rounded square or a circle or any other shape you you really want to put in here so right now i just want to add a background color let's go ahead and make it black and i want to stretch this to be the background of the canvas so the transform section is where you can click and drag these bars here to change the shape and size and rotation of the the shape layer that you just created so as you can see i can just stretch it as far as i want and it covers the entire canvas uh, one of the best practices to do in photoshop is to name your layers because if you're in photoshop and you have 20 30 layers you're working with it's easier to edit if you know exactly what the layer is so i'll just change this to background you can see it changes its name here so i know specifically this is the background layer that we're editing one of the other fancier tools here is the select pattern of the shape you can go ahead and click this you can add different gradient colors you can add some textures this is kind of neat if you really want to dive into this and as you can see this is your primary color your secondary color you can change these it'll definitely change the look of your poster uh, you can add these other spiral gradients there's some kind of wood textures here checkerboard and some other fancier stuff here and actually i'm gonna go for this two-tone look here this is actually pretty cool uh so i want to make this color maybe a gray instead of a instead of a yellow orange that was there so now we have a two-tone background this is looking pretty good so far since i'm making a sign that is a specific article sign i want to go ahead and add another shape here let's add the starred circle shape make it red Let's kind of leave it sitting right here for now we'll work with that in a second let's name it star circle so i know which layer it is in order to get an article on the sign so this is a little weird the way it works you can come over to this layers panel you can add article image to the canvas that's going to add a generic article it's going to be random every time i think depending on which editor you're looking at here i think it turns into a sweater i've seen it changed to something different before but maybe i'm crazy i don't know it's possible but either way this is our article layer we're gonna go ahead and name this article we can change the size of this let's make it a, a three by three so it really stands out on this sign and you can see already that it's covering our star circle so one thing we can do to adjust that is come back up to this layers panel and if you click this it'll rearrange how the layers are laid out so we have our basic sign set up now i want to add a text layer so now as you can see text 5 is in our layers panel it's on our canvas here is where we can change what appears in the text area there change it to a dollar sign make this a white font we can also add an outline to the text to make it pop a little better this is the secondary color let's go ahead and make it black and now we can move this within this shape and it's a little too big so we can go ahead and shrink it that was the wrong way to shrink it numbers go down so now it fits within this little this little text area here now it's looking like a sale sign right so i already know what you're thinking what if i don't want a sweater on the canvas what if i want a bottle of beer or a computer item or whatever else you want to put in your sign the one thing I didn't realize right off the bat is that this sweater item is just a placeholder. It's there for size reference. 
So you can always come back to the sign and edit it later. It doesn't matter. Just pretend it's whatever article you want it to be and design around it. Because as of right now, I don't think you can change it in any kind of way. It might change later in a future version of the game. I'm not sure. But this is what we got. I want to add another shape to this. So let's go ahead and add a rectangle shape that goes behind the sweater here. But over the background. So now we have this nice little frame design. That's looking pretty good, right? Can add white background. Be sure to name your layers so you know what the heck it is you're looking at. So now that we have our basic sign design down, you can go ahead and save it using save poster as a new copy. And if we go into our store, go back to manage signs. We wanna make this a wall sign. So this is a sign that's going to go on the wall above the rack of the item that we're selling. We created this portrait sign. We can go ahead and make it as large as we want to. And put it on the wall. Now you bought a sign, it's blank. In order to change it, you go to the change tab, click a sign to select it. Click the select tool. Now to find the sign that you just created, you go over to the category that you made it in, go to article, put it on the wall, and look at our sign. Notice how the sweater changed colors, right? And now you're probably thinking, well, how do I change that article? Since it was just a placeholder, you can come over here to article and basically select any item you want to go into this poster. So I'm gonna pick this phone, and as you can see, it updates the poster, and now we have the phone looking really nice inside of the poster. One of the issues I ran into is sometimes these articles don't quite fit properly into the poster as designed. In order to fix that, you can come in here, you can load the poster that you just created, and you can readjust the size of the article. So let's say we wanted this to be smaller. I'm gonna make that a two. And if you wanna keep the original poster intact, you can save as a new copy or you can save over the existing version. We're just gonna save over the existing copy for now. Poster saved. And you'll notice that the sign didn't automatically update. One thing you have to do is come back into this, click the change button, and reselect the sign that you just adjusted. And you'll notice the size of the phone has updated based on the changes we just made. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, how to create signs in King of Retail. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments or on Discord or in Twitch, wherever you prefer, I'm all over the place. It's not hard to find me. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful in any kind of way, I would appreciate the thumbs up, the likes, the subs. Please consider all of the above. I appreciate you for watching. Until next time, make it a good one.